highs and warmer temperatures in the Northeast. Good morning. Welcome to Weather Center. I'm Mark Mancuso. And I'm Kelly Cass. Thanks for joining us. Well, Mark and I have been looking at the latest track of Tropical Storm Barry. Of course, it has been intensifying, Mark. It's strengthened now to almost a hurricane, and we're still a little uncertain exactly where it will come ashore. But it looks like uh, the... Uh the painting is on the wall there. The, the writing's on the wall. Looks like the Florida Panhandle, the western part of the Panhandle, especially between Panama City and over towards Pensacola, an area of concern. This looks like uh, later tonight. That's uh, when the uh, center of the circulation will be getting very close, maybe even making landfall. And you mentioned Pensacola. In fact, we're going to turn it over now to Kristen Dodd, who is in Pensacola. She joins us with a live report where the waves have been picking up in activity. Right, Kristen? Oh, that's right. We have seen an increase in the activity. The people are getting ready at one of the uh, marine areas here. We have had reports of people that are now shoring up their boats and making sure that everything is secure. You know, this area is used to getting very strong hurricanes. So residents are in the mode of just business as usual when there's something like this happens. They have been taking their precautions and they have their hurricane kits prepared. You can see here along the dock of, or the pier, a brand new pier. It's only about two months old. The red flag are also flying and that means stay out of the water and they've had to pull some of the people out of the water not literally but just to whistle them in to caution them that it is very dangerous surf out here now not only are they getting ready here on Pensacola Beach but also at some of the motels where we have had some flooding already taking place with some higher tides we've seen the sandbags going up and we have also seen the um, possibility of more flooding and erosion into some of the area stairwells that some of them have had to be shut off and also some erosion underneath some of the area hotels you can see it's not keeping the surfers though out of the water all that happening just off to our west where the surfing actually is reported pretty good here though the set's just coming in a little bit too close together so we don't see a lot of surfers in and the lifeguards continue to whistle people out we'll be watching it here from the panhandle of florida now this afternoon tonight tomorrow morning as this is going to be a long one as we head into the week now back to kelly in the studio and thank you kristen we'll be checking back with you throughout the day most likely and into the evening hours as the system continues to approach the panhandle of florida you'll notice from the satellite imagery we do have quite a healthy tropical storm on our hands in fact nearing hurricane strength at this hour with winds of 70 miles per hour there's a look at the visible satellite picture you can also see pretty good uh, satellite imagery here showing up some bubbling up around the center of circulation somewhat of an eye starting to form here and here's the latest stats we have on tropical storm barry about 140 40 miles to the south of Fort Walton Beach, Florida, packing winds of 70 miles per hour. It's a rather compact, compact storm, though. Mark and I were noticing the winds, the tropical storm force winds, not going out all that far, but it is packing some very strong winds, nearing hurricane strength, and it is moving toward the north at 7 miles per hour with pressure at 991 millibars. Hurricane warnings are in effect because we do think that this will become a hurricane before making landfall. That means this area right here, shaded in red, will likely feel hurricane force winds within the next. 24 hours. We're talking about Pascagoula, Mississippi, over towards Oklahoma. Oklahoma River in Florida and on either side of the hurricane warnings we have tropical storm warnings and that means you could be feeling tropical storm force winds in the next 24 hours as well and that does include the New Orleans area. This is our projected path. Now again we've been tweaking this somewhat as our system was moving toward the northwest then it made that turn toward the right and now it looks like it's heading more toward the north and eventually will head northwest just before landfall late tonight early tomorrow morning. Elsewhere across the southeast we are seeing a few showers forming in northern Georgia We've had flooding rains, by the way, here in Tennessee and Greene County, where we had reports of roads covered with water here. And we are looking at quite a waterlogged situation across the southeast. As our system makes landfall, and we're still uncertain of the exact path of this system, but it does look like it will remain unsettled across the southeast for the next several days. And that will be a very serious flooding problem for us. Look at the lightning strikes going quite a bit here across the panhandle of Florida, where storms are going. As we zoom in for a closer look at the radar, you can see just just to the west and to the southeast, I should say, of Panama City, that's where we're experiencing some heavier thunder showers over towards Tallahassee and thunder being heard in Valdosta, Georgia as well. Panama City getting soaked right now. Bill Keneally is there, by the way, and we'll be checking back with him during the course of the day as well. The dew points are very high, as you might expect, well into the 70s. Here's some well, particulars well. on it for you right now. It's almost a hurricane, 28.4 north, 86.4 west. That puts our center of circulation about 140 miles south of Fort Walton Beach, Florida. There you see the winds 70 and the movement now slowly north. 
at 7 miles per hour. Pressure down to 991 millibars. Hurricane warnings are now in effect from uh, the Oclockany River in Florida on across to Pascagoula, Mississippi. Hurricane warnings mean you can expect hurricane conditions within 24 hours. So you should be making the necessary precautions and preparations to protect life and property right now. And there you can see the tropical storm warnings uh, on the Louisiana, Mississippi coast and on the northeast uh, Gulf Coast of Florida. That is the latest on where the storm is now and the watches and warnings. And for a greater in-depth analysis, here's our hurricane expert, Dr. Steve Lyons. Thanks, Mark. And I want to show you an upper air satellite image to show you what's going on dynamically with the cyclone. Let me put a couple features on here. First of all, there's the upper level wind pattern. You can see a trough of low pressure is digging south into the Gulf of Mexico. And as we put the circulation center on here, as this trough digs south, the circulation is going to shoot north, probably between Pensacola and Panama City. We're not exactly sure that that's where it's going to go, but pretty certain it's going to go between those or very close to either one of them. And the time frame is very late tonight into early tomorrow morning, although the rain has already started and rainfall remains the big problem. Now, it's sitting on the precipice of fairly brisk shear to the west over here and an upper anticyclone which is favorable for development. And then that result is it's sitting right here, the circulation, with a big band of showers off to the east. So it's lopsided to the east. Most of the impact will be at and east of the circulation center. Strongest winds, heaviest rain, highest surge on the order of three to five feet. Now, as we look more closely at the wind field, we expect it to become a hurricane. Those are those orange spots right there as it reaches the coast, a category one, but you can see it deteriorates very quickly in the wind field after that. So we don't expect the wind to be a major problem except immediately at the coast, and even there, rather minor. Rainfall is our high impact potential where very heavy rain will continue. Waves will be about 10 to 15 feet locally a little higher and surge three to five. So watch out for the heavy rain, and even long after it makes landfall, rain is gonna come in behind it, and you can see rain has already started. So with that, Let's get back to Mark. All right. Thank you, uh, Dr. Steve Lyons, for the expertise on Tropical Storm Barry. We'll throw you to your local forecast and weather center coming up. Reach Florida, but is going to be likely changing as Tropical Storm Barry comes ashore. The storm is expected to bring torrential rains and high winds to some Gulf Coast states overnight and into Monday. We have a live report coming up. You could use a little rain in Tulsa today. You'll have another very hot one with sunny skies. We have details on the rest of the South and the rest of the country coming up. Good morning and welcome to Weather Center. I'm Bob Stokes. And I'm Bob Child. Thanks for joining us. Of course, Tropical Storm Barry is the big topic right now, picking up steam and has a chance to become a hurricane later on this afternoon. In fact, hurricane warnings have already been posted along some areas of the Gulf Coast and the Florida Panhandle. Of course, already seeing some very heavy rain through Tallahassee and other places, high winds and strong surf. And uh, we want to get the latest of when the storm is going to be making landfall. That's going to be the big story. We've got the Weather Channel's Bill Keneally in Panama City Beach, Florida. He joins us now with a live report. Bill, what can you tell us? All right, Bob, thank you. And again, good morning or good day back east to everybody here. We continue to monitor every little movement of what is now a very strong tropical storm barrier, as you can say. And it's moving northward now, and hopefully as that deviation left will continue, we can only hope so, that things will improve from this aspect on this side of the Florida Panhandle. But safe to say, everybody is doing what they can, as you can imagine, to get out of harm's way. Thanks to Barry. Uh, we got here yesterday hoping for some sunshine, but I don't think we're going to get it, so we're going to head back up north. Barry is slowly gaining strength and is forecast to be a minimal hurricane when it makes landfall. I'm a little unnerving. We're ready to go home. Well, it's kind of, we were, we were having to leave to go home anyway, but it's kind of a scary thought to think, you know, to get, I guess, in the middle of it. Barry is slowly gaining strength and is forecast to be a minimal hurricane when it makes landfall. And unfortunately, we have a landfalling squall coming our way as we speak. My cameraman, John, panning the surf out there. It's breaking initially, oh, I'd say about 100 yards out. And those are pretty decent waves out there now, Bob, running about four to five feet. And note how that wind is knocking over the tops of those waves. So it may be a little sheltered right here, but plenty of wind once you get on the beachfront and offshore. 
That is where we're approaching tropical storm force winds offshore in some gusts as we speak. So that's how we look here in Bay County and Panama City Beach. Back to you, Bob. Okay, thank you, Bill, for that live report, and we'll be coming back to you later on.